Hey, what's up everybody? Michael Greco here. I hope everyone is doing well in guitar land, YouTube land, uh, or all the other totally awesome lands that I don't even know about. I uh, hope you're all doing well out there. Um, so I've been giving something a lot of thought lately. Uh, recently, you know, a past maybe year or so, I, I'm just kind of noticing my chops. Um, haven't been as like effortless and kind of automatic as they used to. I mean, I could still get through a gig. I could play, you know, whatever for the most part. Um, but I notice kind of like a little bit of a lack in just, you know, synchronization issues. You know, I'm kind of like having um, hand sync issues and stuff like that that I never had before. Um, having some like flailing fingers. I never had that issue before. I was always like, you know, had my fingers close to the fretboard. Um, I don't know if it's just kind of like, a, um, you know, something, you know, maybe I have to do more maintenance to my fingers or whatever, but I, I'm definitely been noticing just kind of like, a, I have to put a, a lot more effort in this certain things that I didn't have to. I don't want to say a lot more, but like definitely a bit more, you know. Um, also, I, I'm finding that I have to warm up a little bit more, uh, that I used to, to kind of get to the level that I like to be at, you know, to play, you know. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I, I think I'm really going to just kind of get back to like the basics, you know, uh, stuff like just get really back to just doing your one, two, three, four, really slow and just really paying attention to the fingers, um, paying attention to you know, both of my hands as uh, any unnecessary tension, my shoulders, all these things. And I'm just going to start back kind of at a lower level and kind of get back to just being relaxed while I'm playing, not using any, any unnecessary effort, not straining muscles, you know, unnecessarily to just kind of get back to that effortless um, and thoughtless place where I can play to the best of my ability. Um, and I've been uh, kind of watching some videos with like, uh, Yves Malmsteen and, uh, Michelangelo Badio and Paul Gilbert and, and those guys, um, and they have a lot of helpful tips and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off slow. Um, and I want to do this to hold, help, uh, hold myself accountable. We're going to do, it's going to be, uh, my V log. It's going to be called the road to shred guitar. Because I want to get back to that just effortless, being able to fly across the fretboard uh, with no, you know, you know, just be, be, be a lot more effortless and uh, a lot more economical with my strength on the fingerboard and see what happens. And I'd like to share this with you guys. Um, and maybe this would be something that could uh, help you out, too. I'm, I'm just going to kind of tell you what I'm, I'm using, what I'm, what I'm doing. Uh, what exercises I'm using and, you know, and maybe, um, you could get something out of this too. Uh, uh, the things that I'm learning on this, uh, journey. Um, also as well as, um, I want to hold myself accountable too. So I figured, you know, doing something like this, uh, make a post every day or two of the progress and, and, um, you know, hold myself accountable. Uh, so thank you for joining me if you're watching this. Um, so one, uh, step that I took was I, I'm changing my pick. I'm trying this. This is new. So I'm using these Dunlop jazz picks now. They're really, really thick. And I'm hearing one of the things to do is to just use a lot less, uh, not have the, the, the pick be as floppy and the less, uh, the more, I don't even know how I'm trying to say this, but the less uh, the pick, give the pick has the better it is, you know, I, 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 I gotta agree, I mean, I feel like I, I hardly have to do anything with my right hand. Um, it makes it, you know, yeah, I, I don't have to think about this so much. I think, and I think the biggest issue I'm having is this hand. Um, I, I thought it was in my right hand, the issues that I've been having, but it's actually in my left hand. Things like uh, 
get, taking my fingers too far off the off the neck and um, yeah, just synchronization issues between the two hands. So that's what I'm thinking is, is the main thing. So um, the first uh, exercise I'm going to be doing and I'm going to be sticking to this all week and maybe in the next the next week after that before I get into some more uh, complex stuff is just this simple thing I see all the guys doing. Um, and, and they say this is the key to just effortless shred guitar playing is when you go, say I start on the first two strings on the um, on this string, the up, the down, up, down, and then on your upstroke, you have it, then you have an upstroke on the next string. So if you can master that, a lot of other things will fall into place. A lot of your other shred patterns will fall into place. So you're starting off really slow. It's already starting to sound sloppy, so I'm gonna slow it down. Another thing what I'm doing, whenever, whenever I, I start to feel tension in my shoulders or any of my hands, I'm just going to stop and just kind of reset. Um, so, and I'm doing this across all the strings, the same thing across all the strings. So first two strings, uh, second and first strings, third and second strings, fourth and third strings, uh, fifth and fourth strings. And then, and I will take it um, all across the fretboard, but for, for purposes of this video, I'm just going to uh, do maybe just on the fifth fret, you know. All right, so I got the metronome. Uh, today I was able to get to, what's it say? Uh, 132 BPM in 16th notes. Okay, so that's where I'm at right now. And this is, uh, all right, documenting this <laughs> for the V-log. All right, here we go. All the, I'm gonna go across all the strings. Okay, 132. So we'll see if tomorrow maybe I can get 10 BPM uh, past that. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you will join me on this journey. Please like and subscribe and have a good evening, everyone. Peace.